Conversations with a man in my head. Darkness. Hushed chatter in the crowd. Who's tonight's guest? Will there be an announcement? Lights on. The crowd cheers. The band plays the theme song. You know, the one that you almost immediately recognize but can't really place. Ladies and gentlemen, the announcer yells, please welcome your host. The song is mid-saxophone solo, a natural place for a pause, allowing the music to reach a frenzied crescendo. The man in your head. Smartly dressed in vivid dreams and sparkling memories, the man in your head glides onto the stage gracefully. His nightmarish top hat spins like a helix, and his pale face is all dotted eyes, crooked nose, and crudely drawn mouth. Oh, stop it, you guys, he says, a voice of cold winter nights. He sits down on a throne made of sugar and spice and everything plot device. You guys are the best, he giggles. Are you ready for tonight's guest? Yes! Oh, you're in for a treat, he says. Please welcome. The audience leans forward expectantly. The same and samely, the only guest we've ever had and will ever have. Who could it be? Someone whispers. Oh, the man winks playfully. It's none other than you. The crowd loses it. You, 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 they keep chanting. I stumble onto the stage, waving absentmindedly to the audience. I know they're not really there, but I desperately want them to be. The man in my head beckons for me to take a seat on the trampoline my parents got me for my 10th birthday. Ivar, he says, so good to see you again, and again, and again, and again. I nod and sit, involuntarily bouncing up and down. This is episode 23,047, and you've been with us every single show. How does that make you feel? Tired, I sigh. I'm so tired. Ah, yes, he says, the coma. I suppose we've been over this quite a few times by now. Infinite, I say. We've been over it an infinite amount of times. The man grins widely. I bet, he exclaims. But you know this is all of your own making, right? I nod solemnly. We're not real. We're all fragments of your wonderful imagination, yes? I nod again. I'll snap out of it one day. I'll wake up. A slimy larvae riding a cockroach scutters in, handing the man in my head a tiny piece of paper. What's that? The man says. Oh my, this is exciting news. What? I say. Well, he replies, shuffling to his feet. Looks like we've received some news from the outside. We have a connection, people. Ears to mind. I roll off the trampoline in shock. This is it, I think, and therefore say, I am finally getting out of this hellhole. What did we hear? I yell, grabbing the man by his antenna excitedly. He clears his throat, holding the tiny piece of paper up ceremonially. Hum! <clears throat> this is word for word what we heard. Drum roll! It's time to take him off life support. If you enjoy our videos, consider subscribing to our channel.